Okay, I'm going to take a look at uh, tonight for homework 1.1. And take a look at uh, problem number two first. So, a company did a taste test on new ice creams. They invented Moo University. 750 freshmen preferred cranberry bog ice cream, while 1,250 freshmen preferred coconut orange ice cream. Complete each statement. What fraction of freshmen preferred cranberry bog? Well, I need to know the total. So 750 plus 1250 is going to give me 2,000. So we have 2,000 freshmen. Out of the 2,000, they preferred cranberry blog was 750. Now, 750 over 2,000, I want to reduce my fraction. So I'm going to go 75 over 200. What number goes in 75 and 200? 25 does. So it's going to be 3 eighths. 3 over 8. So keep reducing your fraction until we have it in pretty simplest forms. What percentage of freshmen preferred coconut orange? So the percentage of freshmen that preferred coconut orange, so I am going to take um, coconut orange, 1250, and then divide that by 2000. So 1250, divide that by 2000. And I'm going to get up of 62 and a half. So, or 0.625, so multiplied by 100. 62.5% like that. C. Freshmen who preferred coconut orange outnumbered freshmen who preferred cranberry bog by ratio blank to blank. Well, that's 750 to 1250. Too big. I divide both by 10. I got 75 to 125. And then I'm right back to... 25 goes into both of these. 25 goes into this three times, and it goes into this five times, so the ratio is three to five. I'm sorry, five to three. I got it backwards. I had to put the wrong number first. Five to three. Okay, so um, not too bad there. I also wanted to take a look at number five. And for number five, we had to use this table. So let's see if I can get these. Both on there. Decide if the statement is correct. So he spent one sixth of his time watching TV. Well, first thing I got to know is how much time he spent. And I added up, I got 48. And time watching television was six hours. So that is supposed to be one sixth. So if I put six over 48 and I reduce that, six does go into 48. It goes into it eight times. It should be one eighth. So this is a false statement. False, and I'm going to correct it by saying one eighth of his time. B, the ratio of hours spent in watching television to hours spent doing chores or homework. Chores or homework is two hours, watching television is six. They said it's three to one, so I'd have it six to two, but I'm going to reduce two goes into both of these, so it's three to one. I'm going to say it's that's a correct statement. Recreation, talking on the phone, watching television is about 33% of his time. So, recreation is 8 hours, talking on the phone is 2, that's 10, watching television, so I'm talking 16 hours. So, 16 hours out of a total of 48. So, I do 16 divided by 48 to get my percent, and I get, that's 0.33, and it goes on forever, which... Change that to percentage is 33.3%. They said 33%. They just rounded off to a whole percent. So I'm going to say that's correct. Spent time doing chores or homework was only 20% of the time spent doing television. Well, television was six hours. So I'm put that on the bottom. Uh, time spent doing chores or homework. Doing chores or homework was two. So if I want to find a percent, I'm going to take 2 divided by 6 equals, and I get 30.33 or 33%. So that's false. It's actually more than that. It's 33%. Okay, for E, I hope I had that on there. Uh, for E, sleeping, eating, and other activities took up 12 hours more than all the other activities combined. So I've got to look at... Sleeping, eating, other activities. 9.5, 2.5. Well, those go together nice. It's going to give me 10 plus 2 is going to give me 12. 
and then sleeping is 18. Well, 18 plus 12 is 30. So I've got a total of 30 hours in these three. Now, how much is everything else? Well, everything else is just minus from 48, right? Now, I can add them up. 8, 9, 10. Um, and then another 8 is 18. Or 48 minus 30 gives me 18. So 18 is everything else. Now, it says 12 hours more doing this net. Well, if I add 12 to this, 18 plus 12 equals 30. So I'm going to say that's correct. And I think I got that. Eating, sleeping, other. Eating, sleeping, other. 10, 18. Yes, I'd say that's correct. Okay, so good luck with the rest of that, and hope to see you tomorrow.